Hey guys, Mysterious Man, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Kirby's Adventure on the NES. Kirby is known for his ability to suck up enemies and steal their abilities. Uh, for example, here's the beam ability. Um, overall, I feel that that functions quite well as a game. Um, it's an interesting concept, and I can see why the Kirby series has survived as long as it did with such an interesting concept. Uh, I can really see how they would evolve that concept and master it over the course of time. A lot of people say the Kirby games are rehash, you know? I completely disagree. I think that it's a really interesting concept and a lot can be done with this concept. Um, so overall, I would give the gameplay, having played the other Kirby games, I would have to give the gameplay an 8 out of 10. The other Kirby games are just far superior at this point, but still, it's, it's still a lot of fun to play this game. And, okay, so gameplay, 8 out of 10. Sound, I would have to give a 7 out of 10. None of these songs are particularly memorable to me, but then again, some may completely disagree. I mean, they're enjoyable when I'm playing a game, sure, but I don't really, to be honest, like, I'm not gonna rush onto YouTube and, uh, look up any of these songs, because especially, like, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, like, some songs from that game, especially, like, the forest area, you know, there's some really good, memorable songs in the Kirby series, and this game just doesn't have any, but still, once again, I'm not trying to, uh, insult this game's sound and music. It's still really good, it's, I'm just saying it's not as good as the other ones. Um, the graphics, uh... As you can see, the graphics are pretty decent in this game, uh, especially for the NES era. They went for pastel colors in this game, sort of, which I don't really like, but still pretty decent for NES. I would have to give the graphics a 7.5 out of 10. The story of the game... Well, this game really isn't about the story. It's all about the gameplay. I mean, it's if you don't enjoy the concept of sucking up enemies and stealing their abilities, then you probably just won't enjoy this game, because that's what the game is about. Um, so the story, I'm going to say, in a Not applicable. It's not a valid question to ask. Like, is the story in Kirby enjoyable? Well, no, it's not. Once again, not a valid question to ask. So, overall score for this game, I would have to say 7.5. It even stands up to this day. I mean, it's a pretty enjoyable game. You know, invite some friends over, play this game every now and then. And you'll have a fun time, I guarantee it. And they'll enjoy the game as well. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.